this video I'm going to give you five really great tips for using electrolytic capacitors in your circuit designs. Some people say electrolytic capacitors are, are no use and they should just be tossed away. But in reality they can be really reliable, they can be good provided you use them correctly and you stick to a few simple guidelines. So in this video what I'm going to do is give you these guidelines so that you can use electrolytic capacitors with confidence and get really good reliability out of them. These capacitors are made up from films of aluminium foil with an electrolyte soaked spacer between them. Over time the electrolyte can disappear and dry out and the plates can degrade. So we need to be aware of this. So for my tips, first don't get them the wrong way round. Electrolytic capacitors are polarised and they can only operate properly the right way round. Put them in a circuit the wrong way round and the leakage current rises and at best this will impair their performance and sometimes they can be destroyed, even exploding. When this happens it can be dangerous and it will leave a real mess inside the equipment. Next, don't run them at high temperatures, keep them cool. Room temperature is great for them. Running them hot will tend to dry out the electrolyte faster and their performance will degrade faster. Also remember that the temperature inside any equipment will be higher than the outside, so remember to have good ventilation inside it. Then don't exceed the operating voltage. Electrolytic capacitors, like any other capacitor, don't like the maximum operating voltage being exceeded. This is often written on the outside, on the can of the capacitor, and also it'll be in the data sheet, so stick well within this. Remember the ripple current. Capacitors used in power supplies often have to provide large peaks of current and many are designed to do just this, but they have a maximum current. If this is exceeded then it can lead to damage and a rise in temperature which is not good. For many larger electrolytic capacitors the maximum ripple current is marked on the outside of the case. Finally, electrolytics are not good as the frequency rises. They use an electrolytic action and this limits their frequency response. I tend not to use them too much above audio, but often about 100 kHz is taken as the top limit for the average electrolytic. Another general point to remember is that for any of the specs, keep everything well within its limits. I like to make sure that they run at a maximum of say about 60 or 70 percent of the rated values or possibly even lower. This makes sure that they are running well within their spec so they can achieve their best reliability. So that's our quick summary about electrolytic capacitors and I really hope it's been useful. Please don't forget to watch more of our videos and also for more information check the description area and then please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.